Hi guys, well today I'm going to do a review of the C3PO bus from Sideshow Collectibles which has been uh, produced in conjunction with Fred Barton Studios. Now I'm, I'm never quite sure how the sort of partnership of other companies works. I mean does uh, Fred sculpt the bust and, and that's it and then Sideshow make copies and paint the bust or, or is Fred maybe involved in, in some of the production as well. So I'm, I'm never quite sure how that works. Um, I've actually uh, got the uh, Robocop bust on order from uh, Fred Barton and I've seen some of the, the photos on the forum. Seems to be going down well. Seems to be going down well now. Uh, about a week ago it wasn't because people were complaining th from one thing or another. But now some of the, pip some of the pictures have been uh, shown of the finished bust. Uh, a lot of people are happy, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a it's going to be a worthwhile one to review. Um, so C three PO, uh, Vegas Danny, Danny Vegas returns has already done a review of this months ago, so uh, it's quite an old subject now. He's he's been available for a few months now. Um, I've probably had him. Yeah, for, for about a month, but uh, because I've been doing other things at the moment, I, I just haven't had a chance to put the review together. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at C3PO. Starting from the bottom, it's the typical uh, Star Wars base that they've been using for a, a few years now. It's not a base that I've, I've particularly been crazy on. Um, I don't know, it, it just seems a bit boring to me, the base, but. Uh, but anyway, I suppose the advantage is that is that if you if you collect a lot of Star Wars pieces, at least all of the bases are going to be exactly the same. The only difference uh, with this is that it is a slightly different colour as compared to some of the the early ones, and 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 different as well from if you look at uh, Darth. That one's black, and um, you can probably see as well that it's got some silver bits which is meant to be battle damage if you look at the um, one on C-3PO it's no longer black it's the, the, the only way I, could, I can describe it is is like a metallic charcoal finish so it's it, it's not a true black anymore and the other main difference is that, that they've dropped the um, the battle damage or the silvering around the edges but to be honest with you I never I never thought it was it had been applied that well anyway. So, so to be honest with you, I'm I'm, uh, I'm not too fussed if it's there or not. And then moving up, I must admit I had some uh, concerns about another metallic uh, paint bust after the Iron Man uh, fiasco, which I was. I know a lot of people were happy with their busts, but I, I, I just seem to have uh, seem to have picked up, picked up a lemon on my Iron Man bust. So when there was another metallic bust coming out from C three PO, you know, I had uh, I had reservations. I was thinking, are they going to get the paint right this time? But th th they have got the paint right this time. Um, it makes you wonder, so whether is it uh, a chrome finish like? on the Terminator bust and then they've applied um, dirt because this is meant to be uh, when C-3PO was at the beginning of the first film and he was travelling with uh, R2-D2 and in the desert so they sort of become all dirty and grubby so what you've got here here is elements of, uh, of dark brown and um, and uh, I don't want you to say kind of yeah, like dark brown in some of the um, in some of the recesses as you can see there. He's actually more shiny than what I was expecting. I was expecting him to be quite dull, but that's actually not the case. If you look towards the face, and I've actually I've actually gone over the face with a soft cloth on this because I wanted to bring out more of the shine. I haven't used any chemical, so if, if anyone starts asking what have you used to clean it with, I haven't used anything to clean it with. I've just gone over the face 
on some of the more prominent areas with a very very soft cloth uh, and it's brought out a bit more of the shine and that was what I wanted to do really so you can just see towards the face that he does have a bit more shine he was shiny anyway to, to begin with on the face but I've just buffed it up a little bit more and the switch for the lights is at the back So there's C3PO and the head uh, it is movable so you can have it where you want basically I, I just I just like it just slightly off center so he's looking to the right and it just works um, it just works in the location it is in this room for me so um, I'm quite happy with that I'm actually just uh, waiting on a few components because un unfortunately these when I received this were just completely loose virtually dropping out it looks like that they had been glued in but not very well unfortunately so by the time it got to me they were just dropping out and there's actually three of these there's another one meant to go there but I've got one missing but this is all in hand it's nothing major and I've said that you know if, if I can send me that pip I'll just glue it back in it really isn't a big deal so there's the restraining bolt that was applied um, to uh, C-3PO by the Jawas and you've got um, a bit of an oil run just by there as well so looking from this side uh, you can see the oil mark and run mark just there there's a hole actually on there where it's supposed to go over that um, stood that I've got missing and that's the reason why it's, it's got a hole there that sticks on there pretty well I know that Sideshow have just released uh, well not released but put up for pre-order um, a limited edition version there so you can actually get C3PO um, in a full gloss chrome finish so you don't get the um, you don't get the dirt like you've got on this one I'm not really bothered to be honest with this as to whether it's the shiny one or um, or this dirty version I think that this one has got enough shine anyway for me so um, you know, I'm not not too bothered about having the shiny version as well. The, the advantage, I suppose, with with this version is that you do get the restraining bolt. So on the shiny version, you won't get that because obviously, when it's shiny, it's when um, it was at the end of the film and it all been cleaned up. But I mean, as you can see, there's uh, ample shine on this piece anyway. There's lots of reflection there, so you're not going to be disappointed if you pick up this version. So looking from the back, he's got um, he's got a hollowed out section at the back, and and this has just been painted black, just round here. And then just just moving up, I'll show you where the switch is for the lights. Not sure as to whether this is authentic, this kind of knobble there for the switch, or whether it's just been put in there purposely for the switch. I don't know, but um, there's your switch. Simple as that. And you've got uh, oil marks uh, inside that recessed area as well. Slightly different angle. So on the side of C3PO, you've got these ridges, and again, that's got uh, that's got dirt and oil marks in there. So you can, you know, there's the shine. So it's, it's pretty good. The eyes um, seem to have um, some, some kind of a diffuser, like a patterned diffuser. 
plastic diffuser in there so to disperse the light a bit more evenly. So there's your review of C3PO and before I go uh, I just want to say special thanks to um, Eric, Bookhouse Boy. Um, uh, he did a competition, as you already know, you've probably already seen my video and various other videos. It's not very often that um, I, I, I enter competitions on, on YouTube to be honest with you, but it, it just sounded like a fun idea, the one he was doing, because you had to give information, um, just facts about yourself and a few other um, comical things as well to add to the video so it was, it was quite interesting and it didn't really matter as to whether uh, I won the competition or, or didn't win the competition but anyway he drew the um, he drew the names out of a, a hat or, or a bowl I should say um, just over a week ago now and uh, so I got the competition congratulations on winning Eric I'll keep that box. That's come all the way from Sweden, so I'll keep that box as well. And it was for the um, metal tin steel book, I should say. Sorry, of machete. It's quite a sought-after one now. I think it's um, it's difficult to get hold of now. Uh, so I haven't seen this film. So um, I should be watching this hopefully, might just watch this tonight actually, looking forward to watching it and um, it's a really nice steel book. So that's a big thanks to Eric and um, I'll put the link to um, Eric's channel at the bottom here so you can check out Eric. Cheers Eric, thanks a lot. So that's the end of this review, the, the next ones I've got coming are Darth Maul, well the cyborg Darth Maul, strangely uh, Sideshow have uh, renamed it part of the way through production because it used to be cyborg Darth Maul and uh, now for some reason it's called cyborg with mechanical legs which is quite a clumsy and stupid name in, uh, in, in my opinion but anyway so that will be coming up soon um, I'm just waiting on, on, on a part for that actually there's, uh, there's a slight issue with the lights um, so I'm just waiting for a replacement part so as soon as I've got that I'll put the full review of the Cyborg Darth Maul and then hopefully in the not too distant future my uh, Robocop bust is uh, is going to be shipping so I've, I've made the final payment on that now so uh, it's ready to go so I'm just waiting for a, a tracking number and that will be on its way and that is one I am really really looking forward to reviewing because I'm just a massive fan of Robocop. I've seen some of the photographs um, on that piece on the web and, uh, and it's really really impressive. So until next time guys, uh, I'm just being distracted because it looks like we've got somebody visiting. So until next time I'll speak to you guys later. See ya.